Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to Mnix Plays Path of Exile, Breach League Hardcore. Uh, another episode, another map. More maps. Maps, maps, maps. Let's go. I I don't know which maps to go to do, to be honest, but we do have some unID'd rare thicket maps. And that's how you complete those challenges, right? For yellow maps upwards, you have to complete a rare version of this map. Might as well do it unID'd. Alright, let's go. One thing I do want to try doing some more is are the beyond maps. Okay, quickly let's take a look. 95% quantity. That's not too bad. Um, no auras. No minus max resist. No weird ground effects. Beyond? Beyond sounds likely. Don't think it's beyond. Do they get stunned? They're not getting stunned. Actually, I can't tell. They are getting stunned. Okay, so it's not no stun. You might have crit. Maybe crit. They're hitting me pretty hard. Oh no, they're not getting stunned. Oh crap, it's a no stun map. There goes my build. <laughs> I think it's a no stun map. Over here, exile. Their HP is pretty low, so I'm doing a lot of damage. Uh, let's try it on a rare. How can I tell? Hmm. Oh no, they're getting stunned. Okay. They're just dying too quick for it to matter. I don't know. I don't know what this map is. I think they just do a lot of damage. I don't see anything crazy about it. There's no bloodlines, there's no nemesis, there's no beyond. Maybe crit. Maybe extra damage. As an you might lose a chance to block. Wouldn't Maybe. That be terrible. Oh no! <laughs> My bow build can't block anymore. Well, I don't know what I'm gonna do if it has zero percent block. That's gonna change my guild build like completely. Okay, this place definitely okay. does a lot of damage. I don't know what it is, but I'm dying. Just got a pretty nice. Loath twirl. Oh, that is pretty nice. Damn. I'm a little scared to do the breaches here. Where's my armor? Oh. It is reduced block. Because I have reduced armor. Holy my crap. I'm losing a lot of armor in here. Like. We had 14,000 armor, right? And now we're at 8,000. So. That's probably what it is. Oh my god. I'm actually gonna die. This is the end. No, run away. Well, maybe I would exaggerate a little bit. Run away. It's kind of tough here. This reduced armor crap. I'm not okay with it. That was like my only source of mitigation. I don't have any anything else. Well, I guess the totems. It's done. Okay, this is this is gonna be a little bit a little tough. We lived. This is gonna be a hard map though. Just the reduced armor mod, like what the hell? Why 
Why is this so hard? You know what? I'm convinced block builds are the way to go. They're pretty awesome. In, in this league. They're pretty awesome. Block and armor or something. Alright. Well... I guess we're still alive, so that's good. That's something. I mean, I feel like we picked the wrong map to run map to run to run uh, unaided. But such a life for unaided maps, I suppose. I need some water. All right. Let's just play very carefully here. The risk of dying is... It's up there, I mean... It's not crazy high. Is that a boss? Mutated Winter Claw. It's not the boss. Why is this here? Oh, it's because... Uh... What's her name? It's hanging around. Tora's. Oh, it's a Tora thing. Okay, okay, okay. That makes a lot of sense. We're good. We're good. Just gotta be very, very careful. I mean, I haven't been this much at, at risk of dying for a very long time. So... Well, here's the boss. Who's the boss? Let's just stay back for a bit. Clear the ads first. Wait. Oh no, that was the arena. That wasn't. No, no, that is the boss. Oh god. Okay, he's not a. The boss isn't that bad. The totems will deal with him. Hey. And we completed an ID rare maps as well. Not bad. Learn anything <clears throat> new. Overall, things went relatively well. I would say. It was a little a little dicey for a bit. No MX died, so But no death. Yeah. We're still uh it's still MNIX place. No no MNIX death. Where water shimmers no more, thunderous beasts are dragged into the pit. Yeah, there's still quite a bit left on this map, so let's finish it up. Um, I didn't realize how much 
like how big of a deal my armor was. It was uh not having it was really bad. I mean, I can heal it or leech it back relatively quickly, but if I get bursted, mm -hmm. it is a problem. And that is the yeah, that is the problem. The burst. Mm -hmm. Okay, five monsters remaining. We're done here. All right. Okay. Yes. What is it? So there we go. Complete it. What's our next challenge or next map that we want to do? We didn't pick up any maps here, which is a little unfortunate. Um, those are all the tier fives we have. Does Xanad have any? Learn anything new? No, she has catacombs, academy, and that's it. Stay sane. God bless you, exile. Graveyard, villa. I guess we can do a quarry or a canyon. Quarry map we've never done, and canyon I'm sure we've never done. Let's do the canyon map. Might as well. It is an ID, but I'm actually going to identify this one. Uh, more accuracy. Our dodge chance is unlucky. Two bosses. Nemesis, equilibrium. Wait, canyon two bosses? Doesn't that mean four bosses? Four bosses. Four bosses, right? Ah, crap. Yeah. Okay. Well, this will be fun. The canyon bosses are pretty... pretty difficult. If you get hit. Because they inflict a lot of bleeding. Hopefully we'll be fine. Oh, this is so much better though with all this more all this armor. Oops. Accidentally activated an Elrion mission, so now we're getting swarmed. That was... that might have been a mistake. Oh god. I guess we'll be fine. Let's collect some endurance charges while we're at it. That most twirl ring that I picked up? Uh-huh. I think I can... I'm gonna list it for an exalted. Wow, really? Yeah. Okay. That's that's about what they're going for right now. That's insane. Right? Because it has an open slot too. Right. You can throw physical damage on it or some other stuff. Oh my god, how long do I have to defend this relic for? I've been defending for a long time now. All the waves. All the waves. Oh, is that what it is? Yep. Well, I guess I get EXP for it. I did it! I did it! And we got Elrion to level 7 too, that's pretty good. So you get the big hideout. I already had it. Oh. But uh... Maybe if I get him to 8 I can finally have a master that gives me multi-mod in a temp league. Never experienced that before. I've never gotten them to level 8. Maybe not even in standard. Hits and pets. 
Like, you just get to level 8 and then you do a new, or level 7, and you do a new mission. It doesn't move. What do you mean? It doesn't move. Like, you, you do a mission. Oh, and like the, the burn EXP? It doesn't move. Yeah. yeah. Maybe we'll start finding decent drops now. Now that we're doing higher tier maps, it's possible. Mm -hmm. That's actually kind of exciting. It's like a whole new world, man. A new tier of maps. So you're up to six? I'm up to six. Yellers. I, I mean, I'm still at five, but I don't have any fives, so I'll just do sixes and hope that... I can pick up some fives on the way. I could always buy them, but that's not fun. Not as much. No. It's so much easier to do a map when you like know what the mods are. I actually really like that they implemented that on ID maps. Mm -hmm. And you can get some good bonuses for it. Yeah, that, that's some real risk reward shit right there. Whoa. Do I have a corrupting remnant? Because if I do, I'm going to use it right here. So there you are. Don't want to sell that. Holy shit. I'm playing f frame rate of exile. Oh, that's why. Frame rate no of way. exile? <laughs> Excuse me? What happened? Are you doing beyond? Um, I'm doing a beyond. And I'm doing a breach. And I am watching my blocks in the last four seconds. Have got up to 172. Oh. I see. Holy crap. 172 stacks? 172 stacks. How much damage do you get from that? I can do a back of the napkin calculation. Sure. I need to find a napkin, but. <laughs> One second. Okay. I didn't die though. It's impressive. I did not die. So you Beyond. blocked 172 sec times in like a second? In f Within four seconds. Damn. Right? That's right. pretty dope. Man, I, mean, I want to play your build, dude. I was getting two frames a second. Actually, no. It was like a frame every two seconds. Wow. And you got a new graphics card too, didn't you? Yeah. Well. Well, it was... Okay, so it was... It was a breach, and then it was a beyond in the breach, okay? And then one of the beyond mobs in the breach spawned allies can't die. Oh, okay. That explains it. Yeah. But okay, so... So... Uh, double boss canyon's not cool. I don't like it at all. So... 4% movement speed for each hit you've blocked recently. Wow. So 172 times 4. So... 688% movement speed. Damn. So were you actually just like zipping around the map? No, because I was just like staying in one spot. Oh. Right? I was just like, I was like ping pong balling. Oh, but you were cycloning. Oh, oh back and forth. I see. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cycloning. And. I cannot carry this. Yeah. That's pretty cool. And 1400% increased physical damage. Damn. So there you are. 
I mean, I didn't get to see it, but I'm sure it was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> to see a bunch of dead stuff on the ground. <laughs> Yeah, Breach League, I I think that mod is so stupid, allies cannot die in the Breach. Like, how are you supposed to, you know, set the standard for increasing performance if you do that kind of crap? It just makes no sense to me. Of course performance is going to go way down. Alright, some new essences. We managed to kill two of the four bosses. Oh shit! Now we gotta kill two enraged birds. I forgot that they get mad. Oh crap. Well, I hope they're not too strong. Maybe, maybe they'll get stunned? You might get stunned. Just keep moving. Avoid the... Just gotta get them to point blank range and I think the bird can get stunned. I killed the two chargers because they're the ones that first ran at me. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it does get stunned and we can ping pong them back and forth using Ching Soul. One more boss left. Just one more. Do you ever get to the point where there's one monster remaining in the map and then you're just like, yes, the monster is me. No, but that's how I'll think from now on. I cannot do this yet. <laughs> the, monster like the monster is me. The monster is me. It's always like one monster remaining, and I'm not gonna like run around the entire place, <laughs> right? Because why are you gonna run around the entire place? It's like, it's there's really... no monsters left. It's just there's me. no monsters left. It's just me. Alright, Twin Tier 6. Probably one of the harder Twin Tier 6s. I don't know actually, it wasn't too bad. Wait, there's still more than 50 remaining? Oh, we only did half the map. We just ran straight to the boss, that's all. Need a map. Okay. May your maps be merciful. Let's turn this back on. Okay, well, let's work on this breach then. Hopefully it's not too bad. We should always make sure to pop one of our physical damage flasks though. Or physical damage reduction flasks. So either a basalt or a granite. Okay. Breach is a little tough. I admit. But not... Not too bad. I think we're stunning things. Oh god!
So defense is a little little scary. And now I'm starting to think that going block might not be the worst idea after all. Uh I might do that. What? Going block. How'd you go block? On a bow. With a Ow. rear guard. Hmm. Didn't think of that, did ya? I have no idea what a rear guard is. It gives you block on your quiver. Oh. Yeah. That's kind of interesting. And then I have those staff nodes on the top left, which gives me more block. And power charges when I block. I mean, it's not that much. That's... Oh, yeah, because of your... Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. I mean, how much does rear guard give? Hold on. Is it even worth it? Give me a sec. Rear guard. Rear guard gives... 24% chan chance to block? It's not that high. Maybe not. Maybe not. But you... Because you've picked up those nodes, you have a chance to block regardless. I didn't pick it up. Oh. Because I'm like, why do I want it? It'd be like 6% chance to block and 10%... Uh -oh. 0 0.6 chance to gain a power charge and block, like, whatever. Okay, that's nothing. But with the rear guard and those nodes, it'd be 34% chance to block. That's not... It's not the worst. Not the worst, but... I don't know. Maybe I'll just focus on damage and not dying. Yeah. You know what it is? It's the elemental damage is screwing me. Why is that? Before it was physical. Now it's it's all changed. Hmm. It's like my life my life has been a lie. But yeah, I guess I guess the real the real form of defense is just not being close enough for them to hit us in the first place. Manual evasion. Or manual dodging. Look, for those of you watching, we're gonna die eventually. Let's just accept that. It's gonna happen. If we wanna, like, clear challenges, we're gonna be taking some significant risks. Ooh, inner treasure. Yeah, Sybil's paw. Five monsters remaining. Don't think I'm gonna go look for them. So let's just call it. Glad you made it back. Right here. Managed to get two unique items from this map. Kind of nice. Nice. Slowly completing that identify unique items challenge. And slowly completing that completing uh, rare unaided maps. We're at five out of ten now. Definitely getting there. The unique items you'll get sooner than later. Um, probably. No question. No yeah. question. How many uniques are we at? Uh, forty-nine. Yes. What is? I'm getting there. 
but it, it it really turns up like once you start doing the higher tier maps. Oh yeah, I'm sure. Running these beyond ones, and it's like three or four unique some map. Okay. Oh wow, you can use your item search to find item level seventy five items. And use those for Rigo recipes. That's kind of nice. All right, it's a thirty-minute mark. We only managed to do two maps today, but at the same time, we managed to do them, do two tier six maps. Um, so that is something, you know. Uh, these maps are getting more difficult. I do admit that rare I unid map was probably the most difficult one to today. The canyon double boss wasn't too bad, really. Um, we just have to be sort of careful going forward and how we play. You know, we can't run in like idiots and then just get surrounded and die. That, if if we die, that's probably how we die, or we get like smashed by a boss somehow. Um, but let's just try and get as far as we can. I'm. I'm actually, uh, if I die, I'm kind of looking forward to re-rolling another character and playing some more of that. So I guess I don't mind too much if I die. It would put us really far behind in challenges because we have to re-level everything. Um, so that kind of sucks. But we'll have to see. Uh, let's just stay optimistic with this character. Uh, get a couple more of those life notes. Hopefully by then we'll be able to reach, you know, the 4.6, 4.7k HP mark. Uh, gear, gear definitely needs a lot of upgrades, especially the jewelry. Um, if we don't find anything within the next couple levels, maybe I'm gonna have to go out and buy some. We got some chaos now after selling that primordial jewel, 32 chaos, so we can buy, you know, some decent items. But uh, we'll have to see. That's the end of this episode. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, as always, you can leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more updates in the future. Otherwise, keep in touch, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Uh, Sin Sin.